So when you decide not to do this chemo, uh, any resistance from anybody in your oh, family? Yeah. Hmm? I'm not a resistant. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, your husband being my husband in, is okay. Okay, yeah, your husband right. is the one who hmm. is very supportive. You're very supportive. Okay, okay. Yeah. your husband. Mm. But are you firm in what you want to do? Yeah, yeah, I'm quite firm because um, <laughs> I got resistance lah from none other than my mother and my daughter. Oh, your mother. My mother Why? was uh, my mother. <laughs> Why does your mother? <laughs> does she read a lot? No, she's an ex matron you know, of the hospital. So huh? X, what? Matron. 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 Oh, Matron. Okay. So, you know, lah, yeah. all, everything all yeah, must be, must pop, pop, be pop, pop, medical. Pop, pop, pop. So, yeah. she was telling me I'm crazy not to take the chemo, blah, 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 and all that. Yeah, and then yeah. my daughter is a doctor, yeah. medical doctor. Yeah, medical. Telling me and says, she, she argued with me, you know. Hmm. She said, you know, this is not the right way. Because the reason is because her, her best friend's mother yeah. also died of uh, breast cancer yeah. after two years. So, she was, you know. You, she wants to do yeah. the best for me. Uh, like, yeah, correct. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, for what she's saying, I mean, you cannot blame them yeah. because that's how they're brought up, yeah. you know, in a medical school. But I was afraid because I said, if I do chemo, that I don't have quality of life. Yeah. You know, I've got my immune system, all everything, I've got to take care of this, yeah. and then, you know, yeah. that's well. I value my quality of life. Whatever it is, I mean, I, I'm just trying to see the philosophy behind I mean, why, why, uh, why. Because I face two groups of people. One mm -hmm. are the easy one, like you, who, who, who knows already. And I've read a lot. I've yeah. read. My brother, my brother gave me one book, mm. J. Plant. Yeah. Uh, he told yeah, me, yeah, he told yeah. me oh, you better read this mm. and then see how. So yeah. I read that. A lot of books from all my friends gave me a lot of books. Yeah. I also from <laughs> Good, good. So, and, yeah. So. That's the way to dig is to to dig out all the information yourself and only the way to convince. Uh, then convince yourself that that's it. But with a statistic of five percent, I don't understand. I don't see the logic of it all. But then that's the way they are. You know. Once he's um, told me lah, according mm. to um, mm. Islam, eh? yeah. he said, um, Allah says, you know, mm. you can have, uh, it's good to have um, the illness, mm. but you must find a solution, and the mm. solution cannot be to poison your body. Oh. So it makes sense lah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's why I was telling my husband and we were thinking, I mean, is uh, oncologist, that's what the, the job is. If mm. they don't say it's PIMO or <laughs> hormone, what else can they do? Yeah. Bring back and say, yeah. I pray like yeah. we all have our yeah. 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 There's a no, I cannot lie, I cannot. Yeah. So mm. This is another thing that I tell people too. Whatever you want to do, yeah. Yeah. it's whatever you want to do, ask God for help. And God will talk to you in a way that you understand. And if the answer is say yes or no. Do according to what your heart wants. This is the most important thing. That's the reason why. The reason I ask you many questions is I just want to know that. Is that does your heart want you to do what you are doing or not? If it does, then stick to it. And there should not be any more worry. I think if you want to do something, and every day you still worry, come back or not, come back or not, it will come back. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Because you are asking directly, telling your body, it will, why don't it come back, why don't you prove it?